Hi, hello, welcome and welcome back to yet another episode on Little Sla YouTube channel. So today in this video we will see how to use the if controller in JMeter. So we will I will show you an example of comparing the string variable in the if controller and uh, I'll show you how to use the and and the or condition so we're going to try and and the or condition uh, today in this example video and before we move on to this video this is me your son Shanmugam I welcome you all to little Sly YouTube channel please don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed yet like the video share the video with your friends and uh, if you have any questions or comments, please do add it to the comment section. And uh, yeah, let's now go to the video. So for now, firstly, I'm going to create two requests. So the first request will navigate to this page, the in the page store page. So let me just create uh, the first page, the very first request. So which is going to be HTTPS request. And then the server name is petstore.octopuff.com and then here is the path and uh, get is the HTTP request and uh, the port number is going to be 443 so this is my first request and let me run it before that let me just save this one and to the bin so I'm going to create a new folder which is if controller underscore demo and this is going to be my demo dot if controller underscore demo and I'm saving it and then let me run the script to see how does it work and before that let me just check the thread group and everything looks fine and if you see here I've got the response data and let me enable my HTML mode so here if you see I have got the response with the word fish and the product IDs with angel fish with tiger shark koi and goldfish so now I'm going to write a condition I'm going to write a if controller so I'm going to add a if controller and for that let me add an if controller. So for to add an if controller, we all know you have to right click on the thread group, go to add, and then under the logic controller we have the if controller. So I've added an if controller, and the condition is going to be fish. So in this case, what I'm doing is I have to do is I have to extract the response from this page and check whether it has the word fish so if it does not have the word fish then I do not want to do the next transaction okay so for that let me go to the regex tester and here let me first search for the word fish so here if you see we have the word fish now uh, let me get yeah here under h2 under the h2 tag we have the word fish so let me write a regular expression so any regular expression which you create you can test it here and when i do when i create this expression i get the word only fish so let me right click i select the request where i want to get the response i'm right clicking on it and i'm going to add a post processor which is a regular expression extractor so i'm going to extract the value before that let me choose the main sample and subsamples in case I do not want to miss the value in any of these samples and I'm going to create a variable so which is just like product and this regular expression which I have copied it from here after I get the word fish so let me come back 
to the regular expression extractor paste the expression sorry paste the regular expression here and then for the template you have to choose dollar one dollar and then the match number is going to be one because that's the first match which you're going to select and in the default value i'm going to uncheck this button so there won't be any default value and now let me come to the if controller so here i'm going to choose a condition before that in fact let me show you one more thing so if i want to validate a string so let me give the values like this for example in fact i can even show you the very simple a very basic example so if you want to try a comparison so you have to use double equal to and then the string here which is double quotes a and the same here double quotes a so if a is equal to a then i'll have to go inside the if controller so let me in fact create this as well create this next request so if the product is fish then i will go inside the next transaction which is the first item so let me come back to the request under the if controller if i want to add a request i can select the add and then the sampler and then the http request so same way it's going to be https request the server name is same and then i'm going to take this actions here and paste it so again this is a get request so the port number is 443 so now what i did is i am creating a if controller which says if a is equal to a then navigate to this transaction right and uh, let me add a name for this so this is inside the if controller right let me save it and let's run it and see and before that there's one more thing which we have to do in the expression so we have to uncheck the interpret condition as variable expression because if we select this and automatically this will be interpreted as a variable expression so let me i have unchecked it and let me save it let's run it and see how does it work so here if you see since the condition is true which is a is equal to a the condition have passed and we were able to see the request inside so for example if in case i'm changing the condition like a is equal to a sorry a is equal to b it's not true so if you see here uh, if this condition is true only then the transactions inside the if controller will be executed if not None of the transactions will be executed inside the if controller and that's through, through the string right so let me refresh and let me do a quick run so if you see here only the first condition has been validated and obviously the if controller has failed so we do not get the uh try uh, the request which is inside the request that's been executed so let me again add another condition so for example uh, as I have told you earlier during the start of the video that I'm going to show you how to use AND condition and OR condition. So in this case, let me I create an AND condition. So if A is equal to A and B is equal to B, then it's a true statement, right? So if A is equal to A, obviously, and B is equal to B, obviously. So the controller will throw a, a valid request. So that should execute the request inside the if controller. So let me run it. And if we go to the view results tree, you can see obviously the request inside the if controller has been successfully executed because of this condition, right? And now let me create another condition, which is a, I'm going to add a condition to it. So which is I'm going to add a or condition. So which tells that if C the variable c or the value c the string c is equal to d so what i'm doing here is i'm creating two conditions one is if a is equal to a and b is equal to b or if c is equal to d then execute this transaction so which means if this condition is true or if this condition is true then execute inside 
on the other case okay let, let's first try this okay so in this scenario the first part is true and the second part is false which is we have one true in this condition right let me clear it and let me run it again and if you see here you can see the the inside the if controller HTTP request has been executed because one of the condition is true so let me change the other way what I'm going to do, do is let me make this a false condition and I will change this R condition to be true so in this case the first half is false but the second half is true right let me save it let me clear this and let me run this request if you see here since the second half of this condition is passed the inside the controller has been successfully executed and now what I'm going to do is let me make everything as true so the first half of the condition is true and the second half of the condition is true now if I execute automatically they both get executed and on the other hand if every condition is false what happens if every condition is false which means obviously the entire result is false so according to the rule the if condition did not get executed I mean like once it has failed automatically it skips the transaction and goes to the next transaction so that's what has happened here so I have showed you how to use a string and then I have showed you how to use and condition and then an or condition to this example so now let me show you so we have extracted a variable which is product so we know what's the value for the product so the value of the product is fish and uh, let me show you again so it's going to be fish here so let's go to the controller and uh, let me so the value product is equals fish so if the product is fish then automatically we will navigate to the next transaction so let me run this script and so it looks like we have not got the right value so let me try the other way so the mistake that we did here is when we were declaring a variable a string so what we did is we did it this way so we kept the value a inside the code so same way we will have to give this value the correlated value inside the double quotes and only that's the way we can execute this condition so let's save it let me clear everything and let's run it and see how does it work so yes so here we can see the inside the if controller has been executed successfully and in case if I'm making some changes in the variable or in the value so we can even see whether it's getting executed or no it's not executed and in fact let's try whether it is case sensitive so if in case if I'm trying it through the case sensitive even that did failed so you have to be very careful when uh, entering the value for the conditions it should be case sensitive and also just you have to enter it inside the using the double quotes and also we have seen today about how to use the uncondition or condition in this example so with that we come to an end and I believe this video would be very useful to you in your JMeter scripting and execution so until I meet you in another an interesting video it's bye bye from Asan Shanmugam and Little Slaw